Hey guys, my name is John Banks, and welcome to a different kind of video today. We're talking about the end of the world as we know it. Bum, bum, bum. And to talk with me today, we have got Jack Uploads, or Jack Hobson, as you just heard right now. Hello. And yeah, Jack, tell us why we decided to do this kind of video. Why, why we was inspired. We were inspired by... Um, well, this this guy on the internet that uh, Jordan came across. How did you uh, come across this guy? I don't know. I was just scrolling through like the internet, you know, like on MSN News, what comes up. As you do. Scroll it. Just scroll it through on the internet as you do, and it just pops up. Seem interesting. <laughs> you just saw end of the world, and you're like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, this seems. Like you got a picture. You got to add a picture of like a nuke and that going off. Yeah. I was like, that's oh, pretty okay. cool. That's so how you drag someone in. Yeah, so clickbait, that's what it is. <laughs> so basically the article was World War 3 imminent May 14th, 2016 to May 15th. So this guy predicted that the World War 3 is going to start between these two dates, May 14th and May 15th. And I don't know if it came true, what do you think? I'm still here. Mm, if I had to... Really think about it? I would say no. no. Don't think it will. No. Don't think it with did. this, no, I don't think it did. With the thing we had about this guy, and why you might not think it's funny, but we think it's so funny, is because every single week he posts these and changes the day, the exact same article, the exact same information, just changes the dates. And Genius. One day he's gonna be right. Amazing. It's amazing. I, I don't know how he's going to do it. I, one day, one week he's going to get it right and then he's going to go like, told you all. We told everyone. And we, and we won't be able to say that he didn't because no, he did. because he's, he's got proof. But yeah. if you search, just search on the internet, World War Three Truth Org, it'll come up. He started in 2015, Jack. Maybe even He started earlier. it all the way in 2015. <laughs> 2015, a year I, on. I found one in October 2015. That's almost like a year. I don't know if that's the same article. It looks the same article. I skim through it a bit, but he started and it's changing the dates. It's perfect. <laughs> the look, this guy's my new inspiration. Yes, yeah, it should be. He's got the perfect plan. Yes. But this um, is what we should do for everything. But all like work that I'm going to be doing. I know. Here, I'll just, I'll just a get it. Any and work. Like, change the names. Any work. That's that's a good plan. When I go back to uni and when you go to uni, I'm just going to like, have you got your work up like? This change the dates, the dates yeah, changed. Change, change the date, so it's it's yeah. valid. So yeah, it's valid still. And then we we forgot about this. I forgot about it. I think Jack, did you forget about it? About what? The World War Three thing. What I'm talking about? Because I told you about it before. Oh no, I didn't feel that much about it. You you told me uh, we were playing. Something. Yeah, I told we were playing we were playing a game anyway, and I told you about it. And I yeah, like I remembered it, but I forgot about it kind of. I didn't like read through or anything I just thought it was definitely and then went on with my life yeah so what about you yeah, yeah about and then the same, yeah. a couple of days ago Jack linked me this on Facebook oh yeah if you want to show what it is if you want to tell everybody what it is it's uh, uh it's something about a planet called Nib Nibiru or Nibiru, Nibiru. I don't know it's, I think sounds like someone from Star Wars uh yeah. pretty much and it's it, apparently it's got some kind of vendetta against us because it's gonna it's it is like set to destroy <laughs> all life on Earth next month. This was posted five days ago, and it's five had ten thousand shares. Yep. And it, you know, to I mean, this guy created a YouTube channel all for this. He went through all the effort, so he must know what he was talking yeah. about. I mean, it's it's lad bible, so it's it's the most credible source to go in. Yeah. Um. Half of these you can't trust, but Lab Bible do have some pretty decent information sometimes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, this is the 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 website that tells you that the you know the moon landing was fake and things like yeah. that. So yeah, so it's, it's obviously no true. Logo. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, but it came from the Sun, apparently. The yeah. the newspaper, the Sun. Um. Or was it the actual Sun? Oh, it might have been the actual. See, sun. see. I mean. <laughs> and we all know the sun can predict the future. See, Confirm. yeah, he lets some he lets some people know as well, like what's going to happen. Yeah, which we'll get to later on. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later on. Um, on. but yeah, apparently, blood moons 
is the thing this that, is that it is. Hip craze that I've recently it, yeah, yeah, the new the new hip thing that all the young people are into these yeah. days. Forget the dark. Thing called forget the whipping blood moons. It's blood moons. Blood moons. Yeah. And uh, as gothic and vampirific it sounds, believe me, you're going to be one a part of this. Um, three of them have occurred in a row. I, I, what I'm that just... means, I have no idea. Mate, you don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. John, End of the world. End of the world? Yeah. No. I caught into this guy. Three in a row means end of the world. We was only meant three to have two, row. but we had three. We got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky. <laughs> Apparently, um, this... You know, I would like to say it's never happened. Because then it'd give you something to think about. But it's actually happened a handful of times I know. before. Like so, in the past 2,000 years. So going off this information that I've heard, I'm guessing after the, these three things have happened, these three blood moons, everybody's gone, oh my god, it's the end of the world. Three blood moons in a row. Of there's course. three in a year. I mean, it's happened before. But this time, definitely. Yeah. It's going to end. I mean, it's like, we've had three Octobers. Like in the past four years, no. how crazy Whoa. is that? that? Whoa, whoa, what? Yep, this October. Yeah. The next one, oh making my. it four of four. Mate, you'd blow my mind. You blew my mind. Gonna the, it's going to be the end of the end world. of the world. Just, just letting you know. Predictions Why? right there. Because it's because it's happened before. It's happened before. So it's going to have to be, isn't it? Yeah. So are we making the prediction right now? Uh, yeah. All right. I think we should. Yeah, you okay. go first. So I, I'm saying between. The 28th and the 8th. No, even that. October 17th. I've heard that date. I've just got wow. beamed that inf- that date to my head. October 17th is the end of the world. Because we have had three Octobers before that. No, even that. I'm yeah. gonna, we have had four Octobers. Do you know that? We've had five. Five Octobers before that. And this is that. We can't have six after each other. It's not possible. End of the no. world. Confirmed right there, right now. You've heard it here first, folks. How's it? How's it going to happen, though? It's going to happen. The world. We're going to wake up just one morning on seventeenth of October. Everybody's going to be like nice and chilled. We're just going to wake up. Jesus is going to be stood there in New York City. He's going to rise from New York City. He's going to take one percent of people, all the Earth, to heaven. Everybody else has to fight the Antichrist. The Antichrist is going to take all technology away from us, so we're screwed. Oh no! Yeah, he's going to, to use, go Amish. He's going to use all that our t- our technology for his own power. Oh dear! So yeah, there you that's go. not good. That guys, just every time you just be warned. I hate to burst your bubble, Jordan. Go on. I do, but I've already received very credible information Back. from <clears throat> the sun, the as sun. I said before. The sun. Yeah, it's with its magical properties. Oh, okay, go on then. The, the sun's talked to me. Okay. And uh, it's not going to end this year. Not no. this year. <laughs> oh, gone then. You've got a good couple of years yet, mate. Oh, sick. Yeah. Don't you worry about a thing. Oh, sick. But in two thousand, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why you're safe right now because it's two thousand two hundred and twenty-two. That's the year. Oh my god, two, 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 two. We're long gone. We're long gone. We're dead. Was lot. Rip. Yep. It doesn't even matter about us anymore, but our future lives yeah, I know. will need to be involved, right? Because on in that year, on I think let me let me just think. Okay, I'm getting it. Get I'm getting it. it. Get it. February second. Oh my god. February second. Yeah. Making it two 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 two. I think that was the right amount. Of yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be at 2.22? I don't know, I didn't get that much. Oh, not but the Sunday time. probably, let's be honest. Yeah, it's 2.22, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Um, It will be, yeah, it'll be 22 minutes past 10 at night. At night? Making it, yeah, making it 2.2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, Right. Okay. And it'll be 22 degrees, just saying. Oh, my um, mate. But at that time, and you are going to laugh. Okay. But you got to believe me because the sun has told me this. But how's it going to happen? Is this what you're going to tell us? Yes. Go on. Dragons. Okay. Dragon. Now, Dragons. Dawn. Yep. Game of Thrones. 
Well, that they they're not gonna look like that. Okay. Like, who? Yeah. Come on, who's ever seen one? No. No one. Right. Till this day. They're gonna come up. They're not gonna look like that. Okay. It's gonna be a lot uglier. They're gonna come up out of every water source. Every water source. Mm-hmm. But then we're screwed because like it was covered and stuff by like seventy like percent of water. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. You think the the sun has let that happen, right? Okay, because the sun could have evaporated all. I know. Just been like, nah, give it here. But no, because he was getting ready for this day. It's a he, by the way. It's a he. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're gonna come up and they, uh, well, they're gonna feast on humans. That's what's gonna happen. Then they're gonna go back to the water and it's gonna start again. Sick. That's that's a good profit. Can we get a, can we get a confirmed on that? Is that confirmed? Um. Yep, he's just confirmed it. Confirmed. Yes, yeah. You've heard it here first, Phillips. Confirmed. 2-2 right, right, two, 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 two. to the 2nd of February. February. What date was that again? 2nd of February. It was the 2nd of February, 2,222. 2,222. At 10, 22. 22. With 22 yeah. degrees. Waters are going to come out of the water. Dragons are going to come out of the water. Dragons are going to come out of the water. Come on, lad. He's getting too excited. I know, I'm getting too excited to see the dragons. I'm not going to be alive, yep. but rip. Dragons are going to come out of the water. And we're dead. So you better start packing food up, right? Writing letters to loved yep. ones. Get ready, lads. Building bunkers. Do whatever Sound you need in. to do because you know it's coming. And I just want to go back to this article a minute, and I just want to relieve you to this last point that we've got here. The last, very last sentence of this planet Nibiru stuff, mm-hmm. and it says, "Could this be real? Could it fuck?" No, it can't. Come this on, lads. This sums it up perfectly. This article. I just wanted to go. I just wanted to say. That. I just wanted to show you. Just remind people of that. And I want to go to um, the other website now. And I just want to talk about other predictions that people have posed. And 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 when you hear them, they sound just as ridiculous. Yeah. As We're, the planet Nibiru one. I don't. I don't know. We'll go. I'll talk about the latest one. The latest one was 2016, July 29th. So like a couple of weeks ago. No, yeah, a month ago tomorrow. A month ago tomorrow, we was meant to die. We we're not meant to be here. And this was... Woohoo, we lasted a month. I know, I can't believe it. And this is all from a viral video. What most of them seem to be coming from now, a viral video on YouTube. I don't know how they find them, but it's by a channel called End Time Prophecies. And they claim the world would end on this day. That predicted the Earth would undergo a polar flip. Which the north, north and south pole completely flip on each side, would apparently cause Earth atmosphere to be pulled to the ground, as the surface reveals like a vacuum, causing a rolling cloud to planet, and cover the world with a mega quake. Just wanna leave you guys thinking about that. It's quite ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Some of the other ones are even more ridiculous than that. I mean. I'm looking at my favourite right now. I don't know which favourite Jordan's is, um, but quite a few. My favourite. I'll read it to you. It was the year 1806, and it was by someone called Mary Bateman. And let me set the scene for you. All right, so we're in Leeds in England. We go Leeds, go England. And uh, 1806. So you know, just got off the PS1, <laughs> and uh, and you're uh, you've got your hen. Just here, next to you. Chicken. Chilling. Yeah. And it's laying some eggs for dinner. You're like, yes, give me them eggs. And you see something on it. And you're like, what? What's that? That's not, that's, you don't usually get that on an egg. And you look at it. And it's, you know, it just says I-N-G. You're thinking, what? And then you turn the egg. Ever so slightly. And, it, and it's the rest of the word. And then you keep turning it. And then eventually you realise it says the phrase... Christ is coming. Yeah. 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 He's coming back, lads. He's angry. He's coming back. And, um, you know, so this egg, it was like, what, really? So she told the newspaper, and they were like, no, no way. And then she got the newspapers out, and then the hen produced another one, and another one, and it just kept doing it. And it's like, it's got to happen, it's got to happen. But, uh, no. It's as ridiculous as it sounds because it's not true. Because eventually, later on, it was discovered to be a hoax. And uh, all along, the owner of the chicken, Miss Mary Bateman, was uh, writing on the eggs in a corrosive ink. So 
it etched it in to the eggshell and then reinserted the eggs back into the hen's oviduct. Nice. That, that was nice. 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 Good effort. Yeah. Good effort that though. Was, it was a good effort. Good effort for her. Yeah. <laughs> Just some of these are unpredictable. They're not, they're not unpredictable. Well, they're not unpredictable. Not. They have they been have predicted. Been predicted. <laughs> That's the thing. One here. Yeah. 2011, May 21st. Harold Camping. Camping predicted that the rapture and the devastating earthquakes would occur on May 21st, 2011. With God taking approximately 3% of the world's population to heaven. We just want to talk about that a minute. 3%'s a bit harsh. 3%? Like, there's more than 3% of the population are, like, Christians, people religious groups. Good enough to get into yeah. heaven. Yeah. But 3%'s a bit harsh. And I just want to carry on with this statement a minute. And that the world would end occurring five months later on October 21st. So you, God is going to take 3% of us. Whatever 3% of the world is going to take. And then he's going to leave us... Doesn't even say. Yes. Doesn't even no. say. Christians, it just says 3%. But it could be anybody. Could be, Any randomers get to go. And he's going to leave the rest of us here for five months. I find that a bit unfair. In agony. Just like, I don't just want to stay here and chill for five months. Bumming around. Like, the world's going to end, yeah. but it's only going to happen in five months, so you don't need to worry. And that. Ridiculous. Uh, I'd rather just have it like now and just get it over yeah. with. And then. Don't want to be waiting around for He something predicted like another that. one. The same guy predicted another one. 2011, October 21st. When his original date failed to come about, Camping revised the prediction and said that on May 21st, a spiritual judgment took place and that both physical raptures and the end of the world will occur on October 21st. So nobody's gone to heaven this time, but they're all going to die on October 21st anyway. Yeah. Changed so his God mind. changed his mind. I was like, crap, I was three percent. God, everyone has changed God's his mind now. Full. Heaven's too full now. Yeah, heaven's too full. That's it. Some of these don't even like make sense. Some of them was. Just... I'm looking. I'm looking oh. at one here. Um, in 1792, yeah. someone predicted the world would end in both the years 1792 and 1794 Make double world ending that's two ends of the world well, that's, well, that's, that's unfair that's, that's, that's just greedy it is greedy I've got one here it's like if the first end of the world doesn't get you second one yeah you? I've got one here the amazing Griswell 1999 August 11th 18th sorry August 18th the predicted date of the end of the world according to psychic sounds well so far he's like psychic you know what I'm saying Jack Yep, yep. He's well known for false predictions. Good I know, enough. he's a good guy. But 100%, 100% people have seen this and gone, oh my god, he's been wrong. I don't know, seven times before, but the eighth <laughs> time he must be right. Got a feeling. Got a feeling the sixth, about the eighth No, one. the sixth time. I've heard it's six. You know, six, six, six. He's been wrong six times. Five times. Six one's going to be right. He's going to be right, mate. He's gonna, gonna be. be. He's gonna be. I, don't, I don't think he was. That 666, that reminds me of uh, what Pope Innocent III said. Do you know what he said? He said in 1284, uh, he predicted that the world would end 666 years after the rise of Islam. So we're getting a bit religious yeah. now. Um, but, when I've. This, this could be me being a bit ignorant. So let me know if I am. I apologise, but all of the research I did, it only said that Islam were like started in the uh, 7th century. So, can we get an exact date on when that the world's going to end, or are we just going to have, you know, about the year 800? Is that what's going to happen? Same, or whatever year this would have been? It's the same with Li Jang Rim, 1992, October 28. Li, the leader of the Dimi Mission Church, predicted the rapture would occur on this day. No reason why. No reason how, just YOLO. Just, just YOLO. because. And I don't want to offend nobody who's listening to this. I'm not trying to offend anybody at all. I don't think Jack is either. But it's just no. stupid. Some of them. Some of them, oh, some of them like make sense. Some of them are like religious theories. Some of them are like um, science theories. And some of them are just stupid. It's like man and Jack's predictions just a minute ago. How do you know they're not going to come true? And people might. Mine Jack, is gonna come Jack, through. The yeah, sun Jack's told me. gonna come through. Mine's not, but Jack's is. And I just, no. I just want to talk about this for a minute. 
like, what, I don't know where these opinions come from. Do people just think like one day like YOLO will make this video and post it on YouTube and see how many hits we can get? Or do they actually believe this stuff? Yeah, that's a good point. Do they actually wake up thinking, like, oh my god, like 28th of August, time to make a video right now? Um, World Ending video for anybody? I reckon, like, like half of the people that make them kind of videos, I reckon they probably said, um, oh, the world's going to end on, like, this date. I've got to remember that date. And then they go to make the video. They've forgotten the date, so they make, make up a new, new date. Like, yeah, oh, why I not? I need to go and pick up milk on this day, but like, we'll make a world ending video about it, so I remember. Say, yeah, say probably. Confirm this is how it happens. Yep. And my th thing is, like, some of these might come true. We never know. We no. We accept Jax. We know that Jax is coming through. But yeah, but there's other ones that might come true afterwards. Other ones. Because, like I said, the cycle's going to start again. Before the Mayan so. calendar one, we all remember this one. December. 21st. Oh, this one. This one's got a December documentary. 21st, it's not a film. It's a documentary. The, you got a film about it? The the film 2012. I got. I got. Yeah. I'd like to put my hand up at this juncture. And, and I got really freaked out. I got freaked out, out I'll be honest. I started believing in it a bit. Yeah. There was a part of me that I was like, wait, what if it... It got what, so what, much what, hype around what, this what thing. It, it got the film, it did. a documentary, all the TVs and like, um, Discovery got made, the yeah. bone, like, building shelters and crap. Um, it snowballed. It snowed on that day. The moon was looking a bit reddish. I was proper freaking out. Everything was yeah, going everything a bit was weird. Like, and the thing was, is the mind calendar ended on December 21st, 2012. I'm just reading it now on this website. It says, the supposed Mayan apocalypse at the end of the 13th Bakhton. The, uh, do you that like was that a good pronunciation, yeah. by the way? Thank you. The Earth would be destroyed by an asteroid. N oh my god. What? The asteroid is called oh Nibiru. My oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. It's come back four years They're connecting. Later. They're connecting. Or some other interplanetary object. And then, semicolon. An alien invasion. Why not? Why not? Or a supernova. So we could have had aliens come in and just blow up the world. It's a shame. But, it's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> but no, I, everybody, I think everybody got freaked out a bit by it. I think, I think, yeah, I think deep down some people. People are like, think, oh, I know I'm not, but there's a bit, well, like, a bit, because it got so much hype around it. There was always but a bit of doubt, because just because of the amount. But of I think was. that was the thing about it. People, producer, producers started taking off this. It was from like halfway through the year that people started predicting this. So then producers yeah. had time to make film, quick film about it, documentaries. But then, uh, but then when you think about it in hindsight, it's ridiculous. Like, what happens at the end of a calendar? Go on to a new one. That was the point. But the you point get a new was, calendar the and you point start was again. of the Mayan calendar is that it never counted in leap years or days that we've missed or stuff like that. You no know, hours of time zone changing. It didn't, it didn't count anything, anything like that. Really. And the end thing is, once that calendar ended, it started three days ago, three three days after. So what were yeah, we going to do? Like again. May twenty first, say six pm here, we're all just going to like freeze in our position for like three days, and then just sit there and froze, yep. and then come back and be like, "Well, that was the." Freeze, go sleep. That was sick. That was dumb. Yeah. A bit hungry. Yeah. But it's what I mean about like all these fake predictions got thing. Then people just got. There's got a lot of. There's, there's a lot of uh, like ridiculous ones that you like from yeah. people you've never heard of. But you might have heard of this person. This person is Sir Isaac yeah, Newton. So there might be <laughs> a bit of gravity behind this one. That's, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> According to his research of the Bible, Jesus is going to rapture his church one jubilee from the time of Israel reacquiring Jerusalem. It's got a bit of science behind that. I mean, it's yeah, there's, there's science. I no, mean, there's, well, there's not science behind it. There's a scientific guy behind it. But that's my point. He's like one of the smartest people ever. And yeah. he's making these predictions. So, you know, 2060 comes around, I'll be like, eh. Well, I heard about this one. Stephen Hawking makes prediction. Um, I think he's too smart. To be honest, I don't think he will. And I don't think he will. Going off this topic right now, I just want to end it here. Just saying that we don't know when the world's going to end. Except Jacks, like we said, about the dragons. No, we don't know unless we've got confirmed information. No. 
Like from, from the, the sun, sun yeah. for example. <laughs> no, I'm serious. From actual, we've seen. We can say a planet. Because if a planet was going to hit us a month away, because it's a month away, it's going to hit us, isn't it? I think it's um, like 11th of October, something, somewhere in middle October. If our planet yeah, was going to hit us, so it's like just big over. enough to destroy us, we would see it by now. We would see we'd it. See in the sky. it. You could look yeah. up and be like, "Oh, that's that planet in a big." When we Earth see it, for us. yeah. When we, when we see it, yeah, then we'll start worrying. A planet can't come in a month's time. You can't travel that fast through space because this planet is meant to be. Is it behind Mars? We. I, like in, in relation to, to what? How far is this planet meant to be away? Oh, I don't know how far away it is, but we're we're closer to the yeah, sun. Than no, Mars, the planet, the planet Naboo, is meant to be farther away. I think oh, it's farther away from know. our moon, so it can cast a shadow on our moon and make it look red. And it takes oh, like four months, right, well, for a rocket ship to get to the so, moon, even longer. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure a planet can just travel supersonic fast to our planet and go boom, you're dead, GG. We get to see it coming to you. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you even seen Armageddon? How much time I did they have in that? They had pure time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we Bruce got Willis it done. Is Bruce Willis. Willis. And yep. Steve Buscemi. Owen Wilson. Everyone got it done. Don't we tell you yep. what, don't tell what's going to happen? Knows. This planet in the view is going to come out of nowhere. Archaeos. Out of nowhere. Archaeos. It's going to archaeo out of nowhere. If you get that reference, right then, the GG. Most people probably it's not a hard, not reference, a hard reference. Most people probably still won't get it, but yeah, we we all know unless I see yeah. an asteroid and NASA's gone, this asteroid's gonna hit us, pack your bags, yeah. jump off a building, write a letter. That'll be that'll be when we really test that second yeah. Earth theory. We'll just be like, right, yeah, well, there's like, no point let's go, let's go. Let's try that one. We're off. That's when I believe in that the world's gonna end. And I don't know, Jack. What, yeah. what do you think? Uh, probably if it's not. But right, I have, I have, I agree with one other theory. If it's not when I predict it, then it will be ten duo trillion oh, years from now. That's a legit number, yeah, by the way. Look time. it up. Um, and that is going to be the heat yeah. death of the universe, which is when the universe just kind of says nope and dies. Yeah. So we're in the universe. Yeah, but we'll be so dead, we'll dead already. We'll be dead a long time ago. <laughs> Unless they create yeah. infinite life for us. But So, would you rather have that one? Or would you rather have my dragons? Dragon Maybe honest. I can like, be... I, I might be able to you like... You would rather have the dragons, dragons wouldn't you? Ride it around for a bit. Oh, if, good effort, Dragon Ball. If not, yeah, try that I would climb to a, like, a tall building and jump up, try to jump on a dragon. Because so I'm going to die anyway. I might as well try. You might as well try. And if I land on one, I'm going to be like an awesome, cool guy. And I'm going to feel amazing. If I don't, I splat, yeah. I'm dead. So, I don't yep. know if you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I thought it was kind of fun to do. Jack, you think you... Just I just want to well. like kind of do. It's kind of like our film podcast. Don't forget to check it out. We'll be doing another one soon. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Check out Jack Uploads in the description. And see ya. Thank you. Goodbye.